Hey, what's up everybody? It's KB here and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install FadeOS 14 on VMware. Just in case, if you don't know what FadeOS is, FadeOS is a Chrome OS for PCs and laptops because the official Chrome OS isn't available for PCs and laptops. So this OS is pretty cool. I have made some videos on it. I will put a link in the description. You can go there and learn more about this. So this video is only to show you guys how to run Fade OS or Chrome OS inside Windows, like Windows 10, 11, whatever Windows you're using. As long as you can use VMware, you can install this without actually installing it on your hardware okay so we are going to install chrome os virtually let's go so first we need to download this file i will put link in the description for uh, this website from here just go to fade os for vmware and download this file okay and second thing we need a vmware player or vmware workstation vmware workstation player is actually free and you can download it so yeah, I will put link in the description for both of them. Download this, install it, and download the uh, file, Chrome OS file or Fade OS file. Once you have downloaded, go to your downloads folder and uh, just double click on Fade OS VMware, just like that. And it will ask you to open this with VMware Player or VMware Workstation. Whatever you have, just click on that, okay? I have VMware Workstation, so I'm just gonna use it okay just hit ok and it should load vmware something like this i don't know why my vmware is so big right now so now you have to give it a name so obviously i'm just going to give it a chrome os and you can also choose where you want to save it just click on browse so i'm going to leave it default and i'm going to click on import and you can see it's importing so actually let me fix this okay so we're just gonna wait a little bit and now don't run it if you want to install it you we have to do some settings so click on edit virtual machine settings just like that and in here we can add more ram cpu and everything so most important thing to actually install fade os 14 is to add a new hard drive okay just click on add at the bottom and select hard disk and hit next and uh, select nvme i know it says this one is recommended but we can see the hard drive they are actually using by default is nvme okay so we're going to use that and hit next and create a new disk and in here uh, you need to choose how much storage you want to give this os okay so uh, i'm just gonna give it like 50 it depends on you how much you want okay just hit next and uh, finish and now you know if you want to customize anything else you can customize it i'm just going to give it a little bit more graphic memory uh, i'm going to boost the cpu maybe ram too i'm going to give it like eight gigabyte of ram you don't have to do this you just have to add a hard disk that's all okay hit OK and run it and it's going to boot itself. So you just wait and finish the, uh, uh, what do you call it, a setup. Yeah, easy peasy. Don't leave yet because <laughs> there is one more thing you need to do after you finish installing. Okay, so to install it, uh, just click on install Fade OS. Uh, if you want to try, you can also try it without installing it but we want to install it okay so click on uh, install fade os and hit next and click on full disk installation which will be default actually and after that hit next and you're gonna get that uh, you know hard drive that you made okay so you know we made 50 gigabyte of hard drive okay so we're gonna select that hit next and uh, let it finish so it will take some time and it will say installation completed so now you need to shut down it okay or you can close it from here okay so it's shut down now click on here your fade os or chrome os whatever you have give the name okay so again you have to go to edit virtual machine settings and this time we need to remove this hard disk which comes 
default okay it will be 12 gigabyte okay because if we don't then it's gonna boot again to you know uh, live cd so we don't want that to happen okay so just click on remove and now we have left only the hard drive that we created and we have successfully installed uh, chrome os on it so it will boot okay so now again play the machine and that's all you have to do and this is how you install chrome os inside windows 10 11 or whatever you're using okay so this time it will ask you to set up and everything okay so you can see it's already installed accept and go next and actually i'm just going to use a local account just to sh quickly show you guys okay one two three four one two three four and hit next and get started done yeah very simple so i have made a video on this as i said earlier so i have made a video on how to install it on your pc and i have done a review this is like really good operating system for low-end pc you can run android games and apps you can run linux in it and actually if you have a decent computer i mean it runs really well even on a virtual machine <laughs> yeah it's funny i know <laughs> it's it's a really good operating system so i'm just going to change the resolution a little bit like that confirm and i can go full screen i'm just going to show you guys that how well it runs even in virtual machine so this is chrome okay so we have android systems okay so you can see now we can run android applications and uh, you can go to store if you want to install a google play store and everything uh, go to store and after that go to made by fade os and go to open g apps okay or configure open g app and install it and this application will install google play store and services inside fade os and just look at it how smooth it runs even inside virtual machine and yeah that's it Hope you enjoyed it i will put link in the description for uh, the official site for this you can go there download it and also for the vmware and also for my uh, videos that i made on fade os okay so you can go there and learn more about the fade os so yeah if you have any question about fade os let me know in the comments that's all hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye